Hello, my name is Tom Wilson, and I'm going to show you how to quickly integrate Tailwind with SvelteKit. SvelteKit is currently in beta, and there was a great talk by Rich Harris on the direction and where it is, and, and I advise you to check it out. I'll include it in the notes. But to, to really get started with SvelteKit, all you do is npm init swell at next and we've already got it installed here but that's all you call and um, once that's initialized then you just do mpx swell dash add and tell when css and the most important thing is tac tac jit that will install the just-in-time compiler and get you ready to go. So I've already installed it, so I'm going to skip that. And then do yarn to build all your dependencies. And then yarn dev to start. So we're going to open this up in preview and show how it's working. We'll open the about route. Let's see. Make sure this is all up and running. Cool. So we'll look at the about page, and you can see that there's uh, no styles. And that's what Tailwind does by default. It's kind of clean out all the styles. And we can come over and add tell when styles by just adding the class names and like that and then we can also use the apply feature so if we take a look at the pre tag we can just do pre at apply and just add our classes here. So we'll do that. And what we'll add is, oops. Do PX4, PY16, so padding horizontal. Four padding vertical 16, rounded LG, and text white, background black, and margin horizontal vertical 16, like that. And there you have it. We are working with Tailwind. And we're able to use the apply and take advantage of the incredible HMR by Svelte Kit and Beat. And um, this is a really awesome kind of developer experience. So I invite you all to check it out and give it a try. Um, I can't wait to add it to my projects and get the GI. JIT just in time compiling done um, for all of my um, Svelte projects. So very cool stuff. It's still beta. So, you know, your mileage may vary and there probably will be changes along the way. So, but, but at least open up a Git pod and, and give it a try. Thanks.